Whoa. And get a second round TKO. I'll actually add some extra details after the fight finishes. But yeah, to start with, you really have to get the muscle memory down and dodging his one-hit knockdown uppercuts because that's the hardest part. Um, basically, you want to survive to 122 on the clock in the upper right. And if you can do that, you start to have a much higher chance of beating him because after this first round, he doesn't have any more one-hit knockdowns. So you just want to survive that. So here I go for the first knockdown. And um, now he's going to start with his, you know, his straight punches. Not totally straight, they're a little curved, but he always does these at around maybe 122 or so. Unless you knock him down and they extend it a little bit more. But yeah, for these, they're, you know, really easy to dodge, but sometimes he slows down in his movement a little, Mac, and it kind of throws me off. But I was getting kind of sloppy here, so I didn't do exactly what I wanted to do. Normally what I would do here is leave him to just a sliver of health left for the next round. You see, I left a little bit too much health there, but I would leave it down to like a sliver so that he would die, or he would get knocked down in one or two hits on the next round. So I'd get a, a knockdown almost immediately in, in the next round. So keep that in mind. Try to pull that off and, and don't do exactly what I did there. But I still pull it off. For this part, block his straight punches and, and um, hit immediately in the stomach for a star. So basically, if you hold down, um, you'll block, and you know, as soon as his fist hits that glove, just tap the, the punch button and you'll get it. And if you're lucky, you can have maybe two, two, two or three stars. You'll probably get hit and maybe lose a star, but if you're lucky, you can have you know, at least one or two stars, which you can try to save to, to get him down faster. See, like using those to, to drain his health faster. I believe he mixes up his punches, but they won't, you know, he's not going to be able to one hit, knock you down anymore, so, you know, you can take more damage here and still survive. Now, if you time that blinking, if you hit him when he's blinking at a certain time, you'll knock him down instantly, but I've rarely done that. I don't know the timing on that. It's very precise, but, um, you know, if you hit him when he's blinking, you will get the star. And then he'll usually follow with a straight punch, so be ready to block that. And you can counter the straight punch as well. Which you may actually see me do. Or not, I think this was the end of the fight. So, um... Yeah, that's pretty much all you really have to know about, about that. Most of it is muscle memory. You know, it, it's just a matter of... It took me about nine hours to get a, uh, a second round... TKO, so don't be discouraged. It can take a long time to get it down. It's a very difficult fight. It really takes a lot of muscle memory because if you get too twitchy, you know, you get knocked down right away, and that first round really will fuck you up. And then, of course, to beat the game legit, you have to beat Macho Man and then Mike Tyson back to back without losing. So you got to get good enough at Macho Man, but it'll slow you down because, you know, every time you die, you have to beat Macho Man again and then get back to Tyson and do well. So you really want to, you want to practice Tyson the way you have him down really well. So I would suggest, you know, using safe states on an emulator to really practice him. Because that's how I got, you know, that's how I was able to get good at him is just by using safe states and just practicing the shit out of him. I practiced the second round separately and I practiced the third round separately. And, you know, all that really made a huge difference. So that's what I would recommend doing to get good at it. And don't get discouraged, you know, just... You pretty much just have to plug in time. Don't, don't let it, you know, frustrate you because then you'll have trouble putting in a lot of hours on it. You probably will have to spend a lot of hours to get him down. You can also just win by decision. Basically, if you survive to the third round, you know, you'll pretty much always win by decision. But, you know, um, that's another option. But then you do have to survive longer as well. But it is easier to do that. The third round, I believe, is more random, though, so it can be a tricky round to um, to predict, but at least he doesn't have one-hit knockdowns anymore. He loses those after the first round. So, yeah, um, I, and I'm going to include a full detailed write-up about, you know, that breaks everything down into more details. You know, I just didn't want to try to cram that all into three minutes because there's too much for me to try to say while the fight is going on. 
but if you want more details, it'll reaffirm some of what I said, but you'll get much more detail if you just read the description. And hopefully that'll help you to, um, to finally be able to beat him. And uh, thanks for watching.